In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called synthetic division, where we are dividing polynomials. And in this case, the synthetic division has already been set up for us. But just to note where this comes from, we have a polynomial here divided by x minus 6. And for synthetic division, this will be in the form of x minus c. The c value is what goes outside. And since it's x minus c, we always have to remember to adjust those signs. While it is x minus 6, it's a positive 6 that is outside for synthetic division. And then underneath here, we have each of the leading coefficients in descending order. If we were missing any of these terms, we would add in a 0. But again, for this example, it's already been set up. So we can just follow the steps of synthetic division, which starts by bringing down that first coefficient, negative 2 here, and then we multiply. The number outside, our 6 times negative 2, would give us a negative 12. After multiplying, we add here 10 plus negative 12 gives us a negative 2. We again multiply 6 times negative 2, is negative 12. We add again, this time 11 and negative 12 is a negative 1. Repeating the process, 6 times negative 1 is a negative 6. Adding gives us a 0. Multiplying again, 6 times 0 this time is a 0. And here when we add negative 3 and 0, we get negative 3. So at this point we have completed the synthetic division, but for part B, we're asked to rewrite this in the form quotient plus remainder over x minus 6. So our solution line here is divided into two parts. The last digit here is our remainder. So our remainder will be minus 3. And then the portion to the left, we have the coefficients for each one of the degrees, but our degree has now been decreased. By 1. So instead of having a leading degree of 4, our leading degree will be 3. So the first minus 2 gives me a minus 2x3. The next minus 2, we would decrease that degree by 1. So that's a minus 2x squared. And then we have a minus 1. So minus 1x. The last one, which would be the constant, is a 0. So we won't have a number here to add. We have our quotient and our remainder.